there. Thanks a lot for coming by. PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard. And man, is this an early, early Cream concert poster. January 1967, from the UK, before they ever visited America. This is indeed the uh, Fresh Cream and I Feel Free Cream. <laughs> and it was a third, it would be a third of a year before Cream ever touched a Billboard magazine album or singles chart in America. So boy, this is early. So as a result, it's obviously, you know, a bit simple of a poster, some would even say primitive, but it was also pretty typical, you know, for some English venues in the mid-1960s for bands like Cream, The Yardbirds, even The Rolling Stones in their earliest phases, and for places like this and the Ricky Tick Club. And, uh, you know, I gotta say, I saw a picture of this ahead of time, and frankly, I wasn't moved. I thought it was just okay. But in person, I was clean knocked out. I had not planned to video blog it, but once I saw it, it's like, yes, I've got to do that. It's now one of my favorite Cream concert posters, just by seeing it in person. I mean, look at this. I hope it's coming through on your monitor okay, or your phone, or whatever, but this silver, silk screened onto very thin black paper, this poster is held onto a black backing board by clips up at the top just to make it easy to handle so you may not see the edge of the paper, but um, you know, it sets paper on a, bla on a black background board. But uh, you know, despite its lack of psychedelic colors, it just has a wow factor that I never imagined from the pictures I saw in advance. Now the cream lettering is interesting, right? It's uh, very stylized. I guess you could call it, uh, what, block letters run together. And I suppose I could see that part not necessarily appealing to everyone, but I think it's fun. Also kind of interesting how this large dot down here is the only, you know, extra added artistic element, if you will, to this poster. You know, the, the Fillmore's and Avalon's had been out for almost a year over in California, so maybe this was sort of, you know, the English designer laughing at those highly stylized, beautiful posters. But, nah, I think it's much more likely that this was just a cheap, quick and easy way to create advertising posters. And like so many British paper concert posters of the era, yes it measures 20 by 30 inches, but not exactly. That's give or take upwards of a half an inch. So with that cool look I've been crowing about and the silver on black, then you throw in the earliness in Cream's career and it's like, oh man, that just really knocks it out for me. First of all, it's the Cream, right? And that was dropped pretty soon, sort of like the Pink Floyd who at least kept it for a couple of years, but the cream, it was gone. The the was dropped pretty fast. And uh, look at the size of the the, <laughs> if you will. That's pretty funny. Now, only five weeks before this show, to the actual day, their first album, Fresh Cream, had been released, and their second single, I Feel Free, had come out on the same day. Just five weeks. What was their first single? Well, how about wrapping paper? <laughs> you know, hello, who cares? Sorry about that, but uh, you know, so this, you could really say this poster and this gig is just about one month into Cream having released any significant music. By the way, their live debut was in July of 1966, so they'd been gigging for about half a year. And another, by the way, uh, that first album, Fresh Cream, was released in America this very month, in January of 1967. So this all took place right there at the top at the Guildhall in Southampton, a venue which had opened way back in 1937 as a town hall, and it held about 1,700 people. Boy, I'll tell you, I just, well, I just in love with this because I only saw it in person, you know, just a couple days ago for the first time, and I'm just crowing about it, you know. You'd probably have to really knock yourself out to find a 66 Cream concert poster, but, uh, you know, obviously it would have to be from England, but I just don't think I'd like it as much as this one from January of 1967. And I hope you enjoyed it, too. Wow, I'll tell you, Jack, Ginger, and Eric, what a fun early concert poster. Thanks a lot for dropping by, and we'll see you again soon. Have a good day.